treatment options years ago were basically antibiotics, some steroids. Then as time went on, we were able to use some immune suppressing medications called immunomodulators. But in the end, that really didn't change the overall outcome in years of having inflammatory bowel disease. Then in the 1990s, the biologics came out. The first study on infliximab uh, was really groundbreaking. Now we have many different biologics that we can offer families and it really has changed the face and not only in the treatment of patients but as important the outcomes. And what biologics allow us to do is to specifically target molecules that support inflammation and this is a huge advance. We usually are on the cutting edge. We are active par participants in the major pharmaceutical drug trials. My colleagues have been associated with the start of Remicade, Humira, Simsia, Vedolizumab, which are all very important drugs that are now all currently FDA approved and part of our standard of care algorithm. We understand that there are so many medicines out there, but not everyone responds to every medication the same way. Um, through our understanding of the genetics of inflammatory bowel disease, we now know uh, that what treats one group of patients may not treat another group. We need better medications that work through different pathways, and we feel this is very important um, to continue to study these new medications so that they can become available to our patients. What I see moving forward is being able to do certain blood tests and then to be able to sit down and have a conversation and say, yeah, you're going to really benefit from medication A, from blocking your T cells from going to the intestine, or medication B from blocking this cytokine or this molecule uh, from stoking the flame of inflammation uh, within the intestine. We've definitely made a tremendous uh, amount of advances in what we understand about inflammatory bowel disease and how we treat these diseases. What we aim to do is to make uh, these therapies uh, safer and more effective. We have uh, started um, therapeutic trials to transplant the bacteria from a healthy person to a person who has inflammatory bowel disease to try to understand if certain bacteria can help stimulate the healing process. And it's really those types of interventions and understanding how the bacteria can help promote immunity that I believe, will lead us towards more targeted and more precise therapies. Our goal is for patients to be in remission. I mean, that's, that's our primary goal, no matter what. We want the patient to uh, live fulfilling lives, to, to be happy and comfortable and be able to live their lives the way they want to.